Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 concepts. And today's topic is going to be gore in GTA 6. Of course if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 concepts where we discuss some things we'd love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. Gore is one of those details that add so much to games, especially open world shooters, kind of like GTA. You look at a game like Watch Dogs 2 and there's like not even bullet holes that exist. There's no blood barely. You wonder why doing things you would normally do in GTA Online, you would do in Ubisoft games is not nearly as satisfying. It's because, well, they lack details in gore and that's a huge, huge detail nowadays. Red Dead 2, of course, you guys are already seen in the background gameplay, is what I would love to see in GTA 6, and even improved upon. If it were a carbon copy of Red Dead 2, I would be incredibly happy, but some improvements would also be ideal as well. The Red Dead 2 pump action shotgun, which you guys are seeing right now in the background gameplay, is one of my favorite weapons in Red Dead 2, because just how devastating it was up close not because it got kills easy because it literally blew the limbs off of any enemy that was within five feet of you it was ridiculously cool to not only just drop your enemies but just see their head blow off was incredibly fun and satisfying as well so i think at minimum this is what gta 6's gore system should work and of course since there's going to be automatic weapons in gta 6 like miniguns or high-powered LMGs, I would love to see more dismemberment details with those types of weapons as well, because it's really just explosives and the shotguns in Red Dead 2 that could really do the dismembering, as well as the Gatling gun, which you don't really get to use or even see very often. So something like a minigun in GTA 6 should be able to literally just shred through enemies. You should be able to see arms and legs just flail off. It sounds kind of crazy, I know, but it's a fun detail that I really, really love to see in Red Dead 2. As well as high-powered LMGs, like the combat LMG we see in GTA 5, if you put some high-powered rounds on it, like hollow points or whatever I believe they're called in online, we should be able to take off limbs or at least, you know, take off chunks of people's faces and stuff like that, and like cut holes in their abdomen. <laughs> this is beginning to be a pretty weird video talking about like the anatomy of a human being being shot to death, but it's details like this that will make the gunplay in the game overall so much more replayable and more satisfying and hey maybe leave that gore out i know this is a game for mature audiences 18 17 plus or whatever but some people still don't like to see that or it maybe it'll cause lag in some areas of the game who knows i doubt rockstar will make an super unfinished unpolished buggy mess of a game because of it's been 10 years now but you never know having the option to turn off gore is always a good option you never know who might not always like to see that or if you know a youtuber or a streamer like myself wants to make videos on it but doesn't want to get demonetized from youtube maybe the, the option to turn it off would be a good option and another thing that could be cool if there's like a sword or maybe a katana machete type of melee weapon in the game a nice sharp blade being able to cut limbs off for some kill cool execution animations would be amazing i'm just i just want to go full-on manhunt here and just let the gore go crazy it's 2023 now so i think we're past that stage of like manhunt to literally stop in the entire world and everyone freaking out about it it's not nearly as controversial as it was 10 years ago even 20 years ago and even since we have the option to both pick up and drag bodies in gta 6 maybe we have the option to cut off or take off limbs afterwards that could be another thing that could be done not that we would really probably need the option unless we we're gonna break into a mansion and we needed someone's fingerprint so we cut off their thumb or just their entire hand to be able to get into a mansion or some sort of keypad past I, I don't know something like that let me know what you guys think of gore and whether or not it should be improved in gta 6 i think it should be at least red dead 2 or even better especially better would be really really nice 
being able to blow someone's head clean off with a 50 caliber sniper rifle from a mile away would be really really satisfying in gta and i think you guys would think the same as well so let me know what you guys think of the video please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace